Welcome to another video and episode on my Arduino Mega 2560. Uh, connected with a um, breadboard with a bit of fish technique and mostly electronics. The Arduino is um, programmed, controlled by uh, Octave Mathematical Programming Language, Scientific Language and sending positive modulated signals to electronics including the, uh, the circuit with inductor and captures data on positive modulation as well as uh, voltage and voltage uh, is being captured in analog readings and in voltage readings Last time I um, finished with um, a couple of graphs uh, generated from the captured data and slowly uh, it began to emerge that um, the voltage values are not the same between the analog and the voltage readings while they should be or they represent voltage in a different way. So what I am trying to do now is uh, getting a, a better grip on everything and see if I can get more of uh, the voltage backlash that has been a part of the idea from the very beginning. And the voltage backlash is that you press the switch load the whole thing, release the switch and then it should give a voltage back. According to the schematics from which I built this, this resistor should be not in the ground but in the voltage. Um, after so many examples uh, or attempts the question is is that a correct schematics? But um, I will uh, keep trying to do so. Um, here, uh, a red LED uh, which shows the end of a cycle. A cycle consists of uh, increasing pulse, uh, increasing pulse width, uh, followed by a decreasing pulse width. And this green LED only burns when uh, the outcome of both um, increasing and decreasing pulse width are ending with a 1. And that is not always the case as already has shown. Anyway, um, different from um, usual Arduino stuff. Um, it is now um, volatile memory, so the firmware has been changed. When I uh, started to use with Octave instead of AVRC, uh, and now upon uh, disconnecting, everything is gone. So uh, let's go to the software and see how things work out. And after this introduction, um, well, actually uh, the same uh, angle of view with uh, uh, oscilloscope, incoming pulse modulation, incoming pulse modulation, but after pre after the, the switch, and then um, a probe. Um, right in front of the transistor and the probe from the electronics. And uh, to start it, I have to press either F5 or start the command. And uh, oh, what I have done um, for first time viewers 
is load the package Arduino, instantiate, then declare all um, factors to zero, and also uh, declare uh, an E vector which I use to increase the size of the vector. Then, pulsion modulation, increasing, pulsion modulation, decreasing, right here. In the meantime, reading signals. Here, if, it, uh, if one thing is one, then all right, read it. Here, the same thing, but the other one. And if both are one, then uh, the green LED goes. If not, well, the first is always one, the second not always. Then read all analog values and voltage values. And uh, this is the pin here and there. Do that for um, uh, do that for eight times um, it is all uh, by the way strongly discouraged to use a four but um, that the effect the negative effect of using a four in octave is uh, for very long cycles. This is only 10 cycles, so I don't care. Then after 8 cycles, make a plot. And here you see by the way how I extend uh, the vectors. So, F5, and of course I have to press the switch. And then I notice once again that I have to restart because the oscilloscope is in the wrong value. Uh, yeah. Back to 5 because the, uh, the Arduino has 3.3 and 5 volts, not 10 volts. 10 volts is from a different um, experiment. So. Let me hold the switch again and start again. And I won't see anything until it's finished. So, um, here you can see, and let me show that. I can also show this. Um, decreasing pulse width. You see that the pulse is, com is coming back everywhere, even where it is 0 volts, you see the uh, pulse width. And what I do not see is red LED. Yeah, now I do see it. Okay, so that works. Anyway, interrupting recording because it's boring to watch. Alright, um, first a remark on um, this part of the of the, this line of the scope. Um, this is the incoming signal as I already mentioned. And the strange thing is that it seems like the voltage is uh, not in, uh, not decreasing, but that the whole line is going down, and when it's decreasing, the pulse width that it's going towards this line again, and I have no idea what it caused, what its cause is. Anyway, um, this is one graph. And when I do it, uh, do quit, then I get the second one. Mm. 
This is next to the same. Uh, not to say they are the same. So, what is the difference? No. Um, and I have, of course, to go to the code. And they are saying analog, vol analog voltage. Wait. Yeah, analog A2 and voltage. And those are the same. Um, yeah, I make a mistake here. Voltage is 71. So I have to say 1 here. So this graph is to be discarded. Wrong plot here. Ouch. Apart from that, what can I say here? Um, this is, this should be much higher, reading the voltage. On the other hand, if you read this, read analog pin is an analog voltage value of the pin, and this is a skilled pin value, or has a voltage. So, is it, then this is not really a voltage. Then this is a voltage, and this isn't, although this is called voltage. So, and this I took from, um, from the documentation of the Arduino package. So, uh, of the... Um, ja, yeah, Arduino package voor uh, Octave. So, a little bit strange. Um, can I do uh, some more? Of course I can. Looking here, no. This one, schematics. So, this is capturing V4 and V41. Output, output of V3, no, reading V3, reading V1, this is certainly reading, so the big question is, this is now not coupled anymore, because this one is ground for now, not coupled, not coupled, uh, what happens uh, with this one? And to show again, V6. Oh, there's a nice one. Which one is V6 again? I should put that in. So, this will be V4. V41 V6 V61 and V71 then things become much clearer so um Now I noticed so that A1, which is the, which is this one, is very different. They are really different. This one goes down and this one goes sky high, while this peak is very high and this one is very low. There are one, two peaks, one, two, three peaks, but this one goes very high up and of course you can't say you don't know uh, because it's limited to 8 because does it go this way or does it go that way or that way you don't know interesting to see so actually I should increase the number of cycles to 10 And then see whatever happens. So, yeah. Let's do that.
and then uh, reconnect the resistor. So this is fixed and time I think then slow, uh, lower than 11 then I get whatever time it is oh time is 1 yeah 0 to 10 or t 1 to 11 more or less the same so let's press a 5 again and see whatever happens press the switch and go is there any error? no not yet oh and I'll show the top line right here goes completely down while the other ones stay high stay on the line with the bullet on front and with decreasing pulse width on top it goes high again strange right um, first thing that is noticeable after uh, the run which uh, of course took longer because there are two runs more empty graph and more uh, or worse is that I have only one graph instead of four so what happens when I press quit ah vector length much match really um, so this is only two wait I don't get it how come it did so long while well, it quit after two 61. Uh, where did it go wrong, by the way? Headline 161. No, 116 at column 1. 116 column 1. Vector links much match. Oh, right. Here's the point. This must be ten. Oops. Um. Yeah. If you increase one, you have to increase the other one as well. So this wasn't uh, so. This factor was in the, was indeed not correct, but the error was here. So um, save back and um, run again, and this time it will be the full thing. And that is why it um, quit after eight and not even after ten. So right now, once again, hold the switch, press enter, and go. Right, so now the new uh, run has done, uh, has been done, uh, and the strange fact is now that I have in fact immediately two figures. And some strange effects. First of all, an effect is that I now see that I don't have to press quick to get two figures. Also, the analog and the voltage graphs are very different. In the sense, well, 
uh, they have more or less the same thing at the end being upwards but yeah one two three peaks one two yeah I hear I barely call this a peak then one two three well this is very different and looking here um yeah very different too so I am not quite sure what to think of this any of the graphs by the way so if they are called voltages and let's go back here um, figure one shift them a bit uh, alright so analog which is clearly this one and look voltage value of the pin um, a strange thing is to me that there are the same it is uh, voltage and you may say that with increasing pulse width the voltage would increase let it be that way but if you look at the voltage scaled pin value 1.4 what is 100 is that one microvolt is that a millivolt is is that a tens of a volt i assume it is a tens of a volt but even then So this should would be in millivolts. Unfortunately, in documentation, I didn't read about that. In millivolts, it just says voltage value. Well, I can assure you, if you put 10 volts on an Arduino, you have um, you have a dead Arduino. Even six volts delivers a dead Arduino. You have smoke. So that won't be it. So um, running several tests now, and unfortunately, yeah, I forgot the for the la, um, test before this one to uh, change this uh, x value. But anyway this makes no sense to me if both are voltages what's the what's is the well the difference I can see but how can it be both voltage strange I really uh, do not quite understand this so before going on and um, well, I can of course do another test with this done, with this reconnected to volt. Um, but what's the what's the point? Do I have anything in there that I can measure? Right now, um, this is V6, so yes, this would be coming back. no doubt about it v6 is let's go back again this is v6 and v61 so this is directly from the circuit now if this oh that would be interesting to see if this is indeed 5 volt how are the values changed? And to do that, I would actually have to save this. Um, save as. That would be a nice one. 
So PDF. Why PDF? Really? Saving this as PDF. Wait. Seriously. I can grab it. I did that before, but again, PDF. Okay. Um, let's say, uh, well, Arduino Mega twenty-five sixty S two figure one. Um, yeah, let's keep it this way. Okay, save. The other one I don't care about now. So, um, yeah, reconnect and do it again. And that will be the last test for this uh, video. Alright. So I have now put it back to 5 volts. By the way, it wasn't even connected to ground, it was just a loose end. Um, so, with this change, I'll have to do it again. So, going here, quit. Oh, really? Some output formats are not available. Uh, that was obvious. So I'll have to install something. Let me take a note. Interesting. If I manage to install, I may have JPEG and PNG available. So, yeah. Um, what is the rest of it? Or is that it? Warning. Quit. So, hold the switch again. And press enter. And wait some time and see then what the difference is, if I can see it. Well, last run has ended. Um, let's put quick uh, quit and then you see a lot of things. Uh, I did quit before seeing everything, but this should be sufficient. And the values have not really changed. Not that I can see anyway. Although these seem, seem higher. These seem really higher. This seems also much higher. So yeah, I think they did change. Not this one, but yes, this one. And they both go down in the end. So the, the rough shape of the graphs are the same again. Top, 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 three tops again. Only this one goes up and here one goes down. And this flat top, well, whatever. And I think that's uh, uh, the end for now. Time is up. So, like I said, that's the end of uh, this experiment. Um, big difference. Resistor reconnected to 5 volts. 
and uh, some changes in um, the code with respect to um, V7 and the number of cycles. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumbs up. Leave a comment or suggestion, much appreciated. You can also follow me via Instagram and Twitter. Uh, please show your support by uh, donating via either PayPal or Wired. More information on my website and the URL of my website is under this video. And you can also become a patron and have your name mentioned. More information again on my website but also on my Patreon page and that also is listed under this video. Um, my PayPal address as well by the way. Um, to be continued, have a nice day and bye bye.